Hi everyone, welcome to Love in Life. Life. My name is Victoria. This is my wife Regina. Mwah. And today, today, please subscribe to this channel, hit this bell button. Thank you so very much. And subscribe to our vlogging channel as well. Family thank Daily you. Fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And today we're having um, frittata, or it's not frittata, it's egg uh, omelette. Those are beets. This is a um, salad of cabbage. Tomatoes, onion, and uh, carrots. Cheese. Cheese. And English muffins. As well as here I have a little bit of fresh jalapeno for salad. Kombucha. Yes, and butter. Homemade and Victoria makes kombucha. Yeah, I make, I make my home on, home owned kombucha. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Cheers. Cheers. Lovely. Ah. Indeed lovely. I love kombucha. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. It sounds good. Mm. One little bit of butter. The one butter a bit. Four. Four under the egg. I don't know why I like idea. it. I like it with Didn't butter. Didn't think about it, but I like it with butter. Sounds good. I'll go for butter. So, how are you today, our internet family? What are you doing? What are out and about? Regina already came from work today. Yeah, I was already at work and I'm just back. Yeah. And, and I'm calling like, okay, what are we doing for Mongbong? We need to do Mongbong. <laughs> yeah, and she like, I'm hot. It's, it goes like this. I'm hungry. What we're going to do for mukbang? So. And I said, I'm not going to bring too much food to work, so I can come and we can do mukbang. Yeah. Mmm. Yum 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 yum. Love it. Mm -hmm. We need a little more. And basically, in beets, it's beets, onion, a little bit of olive oil, and uh, uh, vinegar. I'm using coconut vinegar. No, sorry, I used rice vinegar here. So. Oh. Yeah, rice vinegar. Rice vinegar. I think this is one of this is one of your favorite salads, the cabbage one. A little bit of tomatoes. <laughs> oh, cheese in the bottom. That's a wonderful idea. I you know. have to pay attention what you're doing. Okay. She has lots of great button. ideas, and I like. Okay, I have to pay attention. You're setting a good example. There we go. So this is how it looks like, my plate. This one, this one, this sandwich. I'll one. make it, I'll make it. <laughs> You're all subtle. You're cute. Not yet. I know it's like preparation time before we start eating. It takes us three minutes before we are starting. Is that starting. what we do? Yeah. Oh, well. I know, I know it takes forever today, somehow. Not, it's not always this. Yeah, but we need to make our plate pretty. It has to be appetizing, right? I don't know. I don't care about prettiness of the food a lot of times. No. Like I can, I can eat pretty ugly and tasty food. I don't care. Can you move the cheese, please? Yes. There are people that love um, just pretty food, which is totally okay. Oh, no, no. Here. And I don't See? care. Nee, 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 nee. It's a beautiful plate. Nee, 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 nee. I know. Take a picture of your plate. Okay, so, we're back for the thumbnail, Insta Perfect, all of this good stuff. Did all the pictures, now we're ready to eat. Yeah, some people ask me, uh, like sometimes I'm doing it on uh, on the during the mukbang, and people ask me why it's, why I'm taking so long so so many photos. So that's why. It has to be Insta Perfect. It has to be Insta Perfect, it has to be Insta right, Insta wonderful. Mm hmm. Or thumbnails. Mm hmm. We need thumbnails for these videos. Those videos. Most definitely. Mm. Mm. It's fine. Insta plots. Good one. 
Like that. I'm having Insta Clots. I am Insta Clots. Mm -hmm. This is good. Didn't have it for a long time. Omelette? Mm -hmm. Simple omelette. Yeah, sometimes we're forgetting about the simplest things in life. Like omelette. Mm hmm. Most definitely. It's important to remember and to enjoy simple things in life as well. Yeah. Today, somehow, we are not overly talkative. Maybe we should have a chewing moment. <laughs> some argument? Mm -hmm. One time, one time. We maybe. get some comments when we talk. To, when we talk too much, right? Oh. But oh well. I can't survive those comments. I know. We always talk a lot. That's what we do. And usually, we talk even more when we are not on camera. If it's even possible. Sure. Sometimes. Because we decide, we discuss a lot of ideas, traveling, and all the time discuss, mm -hmm. discussing something. What we're going to do, when we're going to go. Mm -hmm. Very true. Not to bore you with all the details. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're eating and then discussing next smoke buns, what we're going to eat. A lot of brainstorming happening. Mm -hmm. All the time. One time not long ago, we were eating in the light evening, just three of us, and no one, and no one was talking. This was a weird one. It rarely happens. Mm hmm But sometimes a little bit of peace is good too. Even like, like when we're not talking, it was so weird that we even remember this moment. Like it's... I was really weird. Mm hmm And we decided, oh well, I guess we need to sometimes to have those moments too. No, but it's pretty funny. Mm hmm I know, it was almost scary in our universe. Is that, hmm, are we okay? Hmm. <laughs> That's so good. Mm hmm Such a simple, so hard to talk. I know. But don't worry, we still manage. Somehow. You nailed the kombucha. Thank you, honey. It's not overly sour, but it is sour. It's not crazy sweet, but it's not insanely sour. It's just perfect. No, I mixed two kombuchas. I mixed new one and old one mm. together. I have one kombucha a little bit overly sour, so I mix it in a uh, new batch. Brilliant. It's actually good. And together, it's nailed the amount of sweetness. And acidity. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you for remembering this one. It was really good. I know. I was sitting on my break at work. We were like, oh, what are we going to do for mock buns? And there's not much left. What am I going to do? I'm like, hmm, wait, wait, wait. We have a beetroot. Yeah, she actually called me, she said, you know what, we have a beetroot there, and I forgot all about the, this beetroot all together. And they have those, uh, those are actually English muffin buns. Mm-hmm. And a couple of eggs, so... Mm-hmm. Let's go, and let's cabbage. do it. Obviously, we have tomatoes. Yeah. And jalapeno, of course. You know what, I mixed all together, Regina, it's so good, like, unbelievably good together. 
Is that salad? Mm. Let me mix in my tummy. I hear ya. And I'm sure it's good. Because, you know, a little bit picklish beets with um, a little bit picklish cabbage. It's perfect. Most of I boiled the beetroot with the skin on though. And I skinned it after. That's what you usually do, no? Mm -mm. That's not how it's normally done. Um, I usually bake them. But if you bake them, you still keep them skin on. Yeah. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. You always do it with the skin. You know what? Not exactly. Sometimes you can do vegetable medley with a bit. Like, uh, you know, pumpkin or uh, mm -hmm. sweet potato, mm -hmm. zucchinis, mm -hmm. uh, eggplants all mm -hmm. together. Then I'm... Oh, you're moving the skin? I'm moving the skin, yeah. Cabbage, anyone? The crunch on this one, it's amazing. Okay. I'll do your way. You don't need to. Mm, why not? You have to keep it versatile. Do want a bit of jalapenos? I think I'll pass. Oh, yeah. I think I... I think that happens when I'm more tired, you know, or been working a lot. I find that I can't have too too much spicy. It just it just hits me instantly. I feel it like really strongly. I need to be more kind of you know mostly on my days off, kind of subtle. And again, not always, but sometimes I have a mood. No mood for spiciness. Mm. Get me to Korea. I'll be more spicy. Mm. It depends on the day. You know, sometimes you want this thing, sometimes you don't want that thing. It's okay. Or another. Another, you know, dream of mine. It's Sichuan province in China. Mm. This China. is another huge dream of mine. We need to check when is the best time to visit China in Korea. Yeah, De definitely not in the summer, right? But it gets really cold in the winter, though, right? So it gets snow too, right? In China. Oh yeah, it's different. China is huge. Exactly. You can there is a um, um, yeah, high mountain. Yeah, but look at the map. Yeah, totally. So if you're up south and in the south, you should be okay. It depends, though. Well, it also depends. Yeah. Well, the bottom part is really low. Anyway, we'll anyway. have to do research about China. We're not sure. I know that Korea is the best time. Um, it's like September, October. The best. Um, time to visit Korea, I know for sure, or let's say May. That's actually a good time. Well, May starts to be nicer in here, mm -hmm. cause it usually. usually, well, yeah, no, maybe not this one, but no, normally usually. May is pretty good. Mm -hmm. But you know, but if, but September, even end of September, when it starts to be a little bit not nice in here, it's actually a good idea to travel. Even, I would say even mid-September. Mid-September is wonderful. Already a kawaii. Thailand. Thailand is a winter destination, I think. I think. Yeah. Now we need to investigate. I looked into this in the past, but I got confused between different countries and now I don't remember which one was what. I know. And then you want to go to Taiwan as well. I really want I to go to Taiwan. Taiwan. I want to go to Galapagos. I really want to go to Galapagos. Yeah. I like really want to go to Galapagos. I know you have a certain amount of people that can visit Galapagos. Yeah, yeah, you need it's to plan a trip very, it's very, careful. very well. And it's definitely worth uh, visiting Ecuador and then go from there to Galapagos. That's what I understand. As far as I understand, you can't get other way around. Yeah, but I mean you can 
spend time there as well. Yeah. I think it's the... Mm. Oh, for sure. That way. But I mean, yeah, you need to leave enough time for that area as well. Oh, so many cool places to visit. Yeah, no. I've never been in um, Southeast Asia mm -mm. and um, South America. Never. How come? Never. I know, it's terrible. No, we've been in so many places. I know. We need to improve and upon We need to improve upon that. Most definitely. Most definitely. Sometimes we look at our world and you know, it feels so small. Mm -hmm. And when you think about traveling, you know, it depends what happens in the world. You know, a lot of things happen in the world. Then it makes it feels really small, like you know, the oceans don't feel seem to be big enough and deep enough, you know. When something happens, feels kind of everything is kind of feels closing and closing on you, it's you know. Exactly, and get claustrophobic with all the scary events that are happening. But then when you think about traveling, you know, except of the obviously few friendly places that don't want us in there because they're oh, yeah. not very gay friendly. Oh well. And we've never been in Australia and uh, New Zealand. Oh no. my god. Oh my god. No. I know. I know. But when you talk about traveling, even if you take those countries that don't accept us, there's still so many places to visit. Even the country looks really small, mm -hmm. you know, but there's so many places. Definitely Australia, New Zealand. Never been there. No Southeast Asia, no South America. Mm -hmm. Hey, we have never been in Alaska too. I know. How come? And it's so close. Well. 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 Well, I don't know. Not so close. It's kind of way, 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 way up there. Mm -hmm. But yes, but when we visited Canadian Rockies, then when you go to Jasper, there is that road that leads to scenic route to Alaska. Mm -hmm. And we're like, oh, I need to do that. But you have to do that in the summer. Most definitely. If we decide to do that, I really have to make sure, hopefully, by seniority, to get enough of a summer off so we can do that. Because mm -hmm. mm. I'm sure in the winter it's lovely, but... We have a map <laughs> here, behind you, behind the camera. It's a world map. World map, so we're always looking at it and we're getting inspired. Mm -hmm. Very inspired. I know. Oh, I love the smell of the salad. Cabbage. Mm -hmm. Usually I will add here some um, herb, but I don't even have herbs in my house. No. It's wonderful. You have carrots, tomatoes, onion. Onion. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes, it's good. The tomatoes, as weirdly maybe sometimes as they seem in a cabbage salad, they give that extra acidic flavor that tomato has and it totally brings out a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. The juices are amazing. It's not weird. My grandmother and my mom know. did all their lives this way. I don't know, but not everybody do that. But Oops. in Israel, that can a lot of times it's more when we grew up it, it was more by itself the cabbage maybe cabbage and the carrots together but not I remember now my favorite cabbage salad remember it? but this is the variation of your mm. favorite cabbage like it's, it's no. totally variation no when you said without tomatoes in Israel then it totally hit me in Israel when you go buy shawarma or falafel mm. Then you know there's a huge, huge salad shawarma bar. Shawarma doner, don doner, don Yes, yes. Well, they call it shawarma as well in here. I don't know what they call yeah. it. It's it's Turkish, I think. Yeah. And it's so cool. They have like huge, huge, huge salad bar with like, like lots of different salads, and th one of three them. Three meters. Oh yeah, it, it's humongous. When we go to Israel this year, we're definitely going to show you how it looks like. It's pretty neat. Mhm. Mm Make sure to follow us. Anyway, and. Um, and one of them is cabbage salad. And it's like, you know what? As much as I like all the other stuff, the cabbage salad is just rocking. 
You're rocking. I love that cabbage salad. And it's simple. It's, it's simple. just cabbage, maybe onion, I'm not sure. I don't think there is onion. I think it's just pretty much cabbage and... Lemon and, uh, and olive oil. That's exactly. It. And it's... So, exactly. Salt. Salt pepper. So, of course. And it's brilliant. It's one of my top, top favorite salads. Top 10. Top 5. If not top 3. If it's a good salad, it's definitely up there. Way, way, way up high. Well, this is definitely a variation on this salad. Mm-hmm. It just reminded me it. I didn't think about the salad for a long time, you know. I didn't know how much I love my cabbage salad. Yeah. I think we will finish for today. Yeah, cheers, baby. Cheers, Hanya. Mm. Mm. Healthy, tasty, and amazing. I love it. Yeah. Especially the homemade. Yeah, you said, Victor asked me, oh, do you want tea? I was like, hmm, what kombucha? Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe, write us a comment, thumbs up us in cheers. Love in life. And make sure to go towards your joy and do something fun every day. Very important. Very important. <laughs> Check our online shop. We have Got to Watch Your Joy t-shirts, tank tops, cups, stickers, and unicorns. Thank you. Love you.